and welcome back to the channel on this video I just want to talk a little bit about e-bikes and do you think that e-bikes become outdated fast or is it us and our wants or is it a little bit of both and what I mean by that about is it us or do they become outdated it seems like Like anything else, I guess, the e-bikes seem to come and go so fast, the models. And I'm wondering, if, are the, you know, are the models really bad or is it us, the consumers, just wanting more and the demand for something else? I'm probably one of those ones that is always looking for more even though I'm good with what I have but I'm always looking to see what else is out there and who's pushing the envelope and all that good stuff and I always think competition is good so I like the fact that there's wants because that pushes everybody to step up their game uh, meaning bike companies and offer us more I'm not sure how much more better we can we can uh, make things like for power speed and all that how much more we can go without it becoming something other than an electric bicycle but there certainly still is room for improvement as far as quality of bike goes and You know, I think once you get the good speed, the good power, you know, that's good enough for you, then I think you just got to look at quality. Something that's going to be well put together, used uh, good quality parts on the bike, and something that will last you, and then maybe you won't have a, a craving or a need for something else, at least for a while. But I think the other thing is, too, that once you get into this world, I'm going to call it that, we, um, we all want, you know, something more. I think, well, I shouldn't say we all. I shouldn't speak for everybody, but I think if you're passionate about it and all that, you're always looking for uh, what else can they do and the other thing um, that bike companies can do too is frame styles. You know, they can mess around with the frame style and make it kind of their own and unique and different. That's always cool to see something that's different. Um, you know, that they, they kind of make it their own, you know, their own style. And then when you see that bike going down the road, you know that that's whomever's bike, you know. 
there are a lot of copycats out there, uh, but anyway, I just wanted to talk a little bit about this, and uh, like, are you satisfied with the bike or bikes that you have, or are you always looking to see what else is out there? You know, even if you're not really looking to buy one, I think we're all keeping up with, if you're into it like I am, I think you're always keeping up with what's going on around. I think that's what makes this e-bike hobby so, so much fun is to see where it can be taken. But the one thing we do all have is a limit to how much we can spend. You know, some, some can spend more than others. Some might spend more than they should spend. Um, but sometimes, if it's the difference of 500 or $1,000, to get something that's that much better than the one that's five hundred or a thousand dollars less, sometimes it's worth it to pay that extra, go that extra mile, I guess you'd say, and and get the uh, better quality. It just reminds me back when I uh, first started the channel one year ago, Fourth of July, twenty twenty-two. I had a cheap camera that I bought. It was like a hundred, just over a hundred dollars, a Casso, and I don't know the exact model. I now I've forgotten, but I still have the camera, but it's just got basically thrown in a drawer because, uh, you know, when I got the camera and uh, started recording with it, I thought, you know, this isn't gonna work. I can't even watch it very well let alone anybody uh, wanting to watch it on YouTube, you know, any of the viewers out there, nobody's going to want to watch this. And so I immediately uh, started to do my research and that's where I came to, uh, did a lot of uh, homework and then uh, went for the uh, GoPro at the time. The best GoPro was the GoPro 10, the newest one. So I went for that and um, it's been totally awesome. Well, Kind of the same thing with the bike, right? I mean, each step I've taken, my bikes have gotten better and better. And that's the way you want to go if you're gonna, if you are gonna make a change or get a new bike, you kind of want to up the game. Otherwise, what's the sense of getting a new bike unless there's something wrong with the bike you have or bikes that you already have? So for me, you know, if you can't, if you can't up your game, then you're just making a lateral movement, and why do that? You may as well wait, save up a little bit more, or wait until something else comes out, because there's so many new ones, models coming out, or companies that are already established coming out with new bikes, and. Um, And eventually one will come along that will catch your eye and you'll say, you know, I should have waited just that little bit longer because I'm not 100% satisfied with this one. So are you satisfied with your bike? Or bikes? Or are you looking to buy a bike for the very first time? The first bike, if I was buying a first bike now, I would go a little bit on the cheaper side just to kind of get used to, uh, just to get used to the e-bike as, you know, as a, 
just getting used to riding it as a first time rider and then then after a while you get to to know the bike and then you get to know if you try another bike or just reading the specs you can tell after a while like if your bike is doing what you want it to do maybe you have hills in your area maybe your bike doesn't climb the hills and you want to up up that get something that can can handle hills just as an example or maybe the bike doesn't quite go as fast as you want it to go maybe it only hits 20 and you want to go 28 yeah, maybe you need to get a, a class 3 instead of a class 2 kind of thing well that's going to do it for this video on the channel if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel thank you very much for doing that just hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit the notification bell and you'll get a notification that a new video is up on the channel also if you want to purchase this bike or any lyric cycles bikes i do have a link in the description that'll take you right to their site and then use the discount code oregon ebiker mark that will save you 150 dollars off the purchase of a lyric cycles bike that's oregon ebiker mark all one word So that's going to do it for this video. Once again, thank you for joining me, and until next time, take care.